all right guys what is going on and welcome back to the channel glad to have you here i know it's been a little while and i've missed you i hopefully uh hopefully you've missed me too and uh but we're back we're making another destiny video hopefully we're gonna be making more of these soon i know we said that last time we made a video and i think that was like two weeks ago but we're here so let's get into this one as you can see we're hanging out here at the sundial uh with Osiris, if you didn't know, this week two new quests spawned in with Osiris. You can go pick them up. One kind of straightforward go do this, pick this up, go do that. So it's, it's, it's that. The next one is what I'm going to be doing during this video. We're doing this live, so let's see how well we do. Uh, but I'm not going to make a whole video about this because it's very confusing. It's a huge, big puzzle. It's not even complete, uh, complete yet. So I don't have a lot to talk about. What I will tell you is what I do know about it. There's a whole bunch of codes that were found from the ob obelisks that you go in here. You got to match up the symbols to go the correct path. I'm going to link down below in the description how to go or or the 19 paths that there are to go where you need to go uh, to get all 19 pieces of lore, which is as far as we can get right now. Uh, what I'm actually doing right now is something in addition. There is an emblem that you can uh, get by going through here. Um, and again, that code is also going to be listed down below or listed in the description. There will be a link to tell you exactly where uh, to go and what to do here. Uh, as long as I don't die here. <laughs> uh, but what I do know about this is it seems like it's going to be some sort of quest to get us a, a new exotic. Uh, speculation is that it's going to be a heavy exotic and possibly a solar exotic. There's thoughts that it might be a sword due to some screenshots that there are out there. Again, nobody really knows. The only thing that Bungie has really come out and said is that they are treating this as a marathon, not a sprint. So a lot of the objectives that they have, such as the raid races, um, you know, some of the other uh, crazy exotics that we have to get, like out Outbreak. Uh, perfected and then um, uh, Whisper of the Worm that was all about a race who could be the first one to get it doesn't seem like that's how this one is set up this one's kind of more of a community uh, effort you know I'm using uh, the help of the community here to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go here because I'm looking it up I didn't have time to figure out what all the codes were uh, that dropped at these obelisks so hopefully we'll figure this out soon uh, anything new that comes into it, I'll try to keep you informed. But that's all I'm going to tell you about in this video about uh, this quest, this thing that's going on right here. Hopefully I'm not screwing this up, so if you're following along and I screw it up, I'm sorry. But uh, that's, that's the price you pay when I'm trying to do this live. Uh, talk to you guys and follow a little map that I got right here. But let's talk a little bit more about the TWAB. The other big thing that I want to talk about, well, not the big thing, but the other thing that's important and coming up soon, Iron Banner returns June, uh, January 21st, reset. That is the next reset. Iron Banner will be here. Pretty excited for that. Um, I don't know if any of you guys played Iron Banner last time, but if you did, you're probably familiar with the last quest step that essentially turned control into uh, everybody go get the heavy. Everybody go get the heavy, get your rocket launcher kills. Go get your rocket launcher kills. And then uh, when you're done doing that, don't get the zones, just go get some rocket launcher kills. Uh, literally, what it turned into was I did it myself, so uh, I, I was one of these guys. Go in there with Titan Bubbles, as soon as heavy's about to spawn, uh, pop your bubble over the over the heavy, so that way your whole team can try to get it. Um, it really turned into guarding the heavy. And that's not really fun, especially if you don't get it. It's very hard to, pro to progress. So, me babbling about that all is now that there is no longer... Well, that quest step still exists at the end to get the 10 rocket launcher kills, but it's going to auto-complete for you so you don't actually have to get it done, um, which is nice. They're, they didn't have time to actually make change and, and get rid of it, so instead of fixing it, they are just going to keep it there and have it auto-complete for everybody. I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. I got it done on two of my characters, so that grind was um, fun. Not really. Uh, but on my third character, when I go through it, this Iron Banner, it's going to make life a little bit easier uh, to get that quest done. The gear, it's the gear from the original Iron Banner from back in the day, So, uh, but it is Armor 2.0, so that's going to 
nice, but again, that's coming up. And again, well, again, I said again, how many times now? Uh, you can pick up four bounties from from Saladin, and they are going to be uh, uh, the pinnacle, pinnacle rewards. So what does that mean? They're going to give you plus two to your power uh, if you're above the uh, 960 mark, which is good. And there's four of them four per character. So that is some big incentive to go in there and play uh, Iron Band if you need some incentive. I know I'm going to be doing that because that's the easiest way for me to get the pinnacle gear. Other than that, we've got a bunch of foundation has set up a uh, foundation or set up a, a charity or whatever you want to call it to help out with the wildfires out in um, out in uh, Australia, which they are getting decimated right now. It's uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh, thousands of acres have been burned, probably even more than that. Uh, wildlife, I know, has lots of wildlife has been lost. People have been lost. People's homes have been lost. Firefighters have been doing a ton of work. Uh, so the the uh, before we go in here, let's finish this thought. The uh, the way that this is going to work is you can go in there buy a T-shirt, which actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. You also get a in-game emblem, which I think is pretty nice as well. Half of the proceeds go to a wildlife. Um, a wildlife fund and the other half goes to a fire and rescue fund of course over in Australia so if you guys are willing or able to give uh, obviously they could use the help this is this is rocking the entire the entire country the entire country uh, East Coast West Coast North South is all battling these fires and uh, not that there's no end in sight but there's still a lot of work to be done so that is what's going on you can buy that for uh, about a month I think uh, it, it's out there sometime in mid uh, February that's going to come to an end so if you're interested in that go check that out it's good, good it's for a good cause of course so the last thing we're gonna talk about but first we get our emblem did I go too far how do I pick up my emblem what do we do here what am I supposed to do did I not get the emblem did I screw up did I screw up how does this work what do we do here only back at the beginning Oh, I'm confused. Oh, I'm confused. Well, let's let's not get too let's not drag this uh, into the uh, video here. Um, we have a we had patch notes, patch notes from a patch that dropped today. So here we go. There it is. Got the emblem. All right, so I did it right. Um, the patch notes. Uh, there's there's quite a bit, and of course I will link that down below. I'll also be linking the TWAB as well. But some of the things I want to talk about specifically is um, uh, there's been some changes to some weapons. Uh, Breakneck specifically, they kind of nerfed that thing into the ground when they got rid of Rampage. They didn't get rid of Rampage, but they made Rampage less effective. So Breakneck now is getting some higher damage per second at Rampage level one and level, Rampage level two. Uh, basically, you're going to see the biggest increase, obviously, at Rampage level 2, so I definitely can't wait to go in there and give that a shot. And then if you guys are using hard light, well, the screen shake was a little crazy. They fixed it. They got rid of the screen shake a little bit, which is good. There's also been some changes to mods stacking on armor. Some some mods that were uh, being able to be duplicated are no longer going to be able to be duplicated. Of course, that never, was never the intent, so Bungie is trying to fix all that. Other than that, there were a couple other patch notes, not too much, but um, stuff that's uh, definitely worth checking out if you want to go take a look. There's the puzzle down there, guys. Doesn't that make sense? Absolutely not. It's all gone. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We got the emblem. Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, did it go to my postmaster because I have no space left? Probably, and that is a fail on my part. Whoops. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Again, I'm going to try to be pulling that, putting out videos at least one a week. That's my goal right now. It's all I can commit to because life has made things harder for me to uh, enjoy doing this kind of stuff. But that's my goal for you. Hopefully, it's good and hopefully, you're excited. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like. That's a big help for me. If you really want to help me out and you're excited that I'm back and you think and you have faith that I'll come back uh, once a week, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a member, or not a member, but become a part of the community here over on this YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys for watching this long. Hope you did enjoy and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.